Hey y'all, so we are gonna discuss the pH level of cremated remains and how this affects burying cremated remains, putting the cremated remains with saplings so that they can grow into a tree and even spreading them out over vegetation. So cremated remains are more like fossils than they are ashes. They are the very basic dried out components, elements, of the bone. So we're consisting of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, and sodium. The sodium is what the biggest one is because it has um, toxic levels of sodium, up to 2,000 times the normal level of sodium that should exist. So the pH of cremated remains is 11.8 typically. This is way higher than the five to eight, which soil usually is. So you put this high alkaline material into vegetation, it's gonna kill it. So if you sprinkle cremated remains, thinking that you want someone to go back to the earth and everything starts to die, because that high sodium level, that high alkaline level is gonna kill the vegetation. So the new products out, or products have redefined what they are by creating a pH balance system within those sapling trees that they have for burying the cremated remains. There is also now soil that's created to mix with the cremated remains to balance out that sodium level and the pH. Some of it requires that you let the cremated remains and soil sit for months even before you go use it. So remember, cremated remains are not made to just go put out to nutrient enrich its environment. They're gonna kill vegetation unless you do some balancing because of that 11.8 high pH and the up to 2000 times level of sodium within the cremated remains.